So a few months ago, I decided to make a silly little video comparing a very expensive smart fan to a pretty cheap one. And I expected that video to go absolutely nowhere. I thought it was gonna be the worst video I've ever uploaded because it was just so random and different from all of my other videos. But it went on to receive 3 million views in a single month. Fast forward a couple of months and along comes this company called Roborock. And they want me to do a video on one of their new robotic vacuums. Now, to be honest, I kind of hesitated. It's a robotic vacuum cleaner after all. But then I thought about it and I thought about that fan video I made and I did some research on Roborock and said, you know what? What the heck? Let's do it. You guys seem to love smart home stuff, so why not? This is the Roborock S7. This thing is absolutely chock full of just about every tech feature you could ever want. It's got LiDAR scanners for mapping out your rooms, a sonic mop that vibrates to clean your floors, Google Assistant and Siri integration, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I am surprisingly excited to talk about. I never thought I'd be amped about a vacuum cleaner, but here we are. This video is sponsored by Roborock, so I won't be doing an actual review on this thing. I think that would carry just a little bit too much bias for my liking and it would probably be kind of boring anyway. So I more so just wanted to show you how the tech inside this vacuum actually works because it's super cool. Back when the iPhone 12s were first released, I made a video about how the LiDAR scanners work. They shoot out these little lasers that bounce off of objects to provide depth information. The Roborock S7 has a very similar technology, although this LiDAR scanner on the top looks a lot more like the one you'd find on the top of a fully autonomous car. It's this little spinny bit that rotates around several times a second. Each time that scanner rotates, it's sending out light light waves in every direction that are bouncing off of every object in its vicinity. LiDAR stands for light detection and ranging, and in this instance, it's used to fully map out the rooms in your house so that the S7 can quickly and accurately clean exactly where you want it to. As soon as you start up the S7 for the first time, you can open up the app and watch as it builds a 2D map of its environment. This is super fun to watch, and it'll even recreate things like table legs or other objects that it knows that it can't pass through. On its first pass, it will go everywhere where bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, any room that you leave the door open to. It will map out your entire floor plan. You can also let it do its thing on multiple levels of your house and it will be able to tell which floor of your house that it's on and where it needs to go in each room. Once it finishes and returns to the dock, you can then use the app to name and define all of the rooms in your house. Here's where things get even more interesting. Inside the app, you can define things like virtual walls and no-go zones. Let's say you have an area of the room where there are tons of cords and cables lying around your desk. You can tell the robot not to go near that area so that it doesn't mess up your cable management, or in my case, the lack thereof. You can also specify exactly what you want the robot to do in each of your rooms. For example, my kitchen tends to be a bit more of a messy place than most other rooms, so I can tell the robot to increase its suction and mopping power to maximum when it's inside the kitchen, but then turn it down when it's in the living room or the bedroom so that it isn't as loud. Naturally, the robot also has support for scheduling. You can tell the S7 to clean your house on certain days of the week and certain times of the day or night. The S7 will use that map that it generated to create a pattern so that it vacuums or mops every square inch of the rooms that you specify. Speaking of mopping, let's talk about that mop for a sec. The S7 has a water tank that you can fill and it will use the water in combination with a sonic mop to literally scrub your floors. There's a little motor that vibrates this mop back and forth about 3,000 times a minute to scrub any nasty stains straight off of the floor. The rubber brush will suck up any dirt on the floor before the mop gets to it and then the mop will deep clean the flooring to remove any leftover grime and from what I've seen so far it seems to work really well. It also has a little ultrasonic sensor on the front of the robot that can detect a carpeted area. When that sensor touches carpet or a rug, the suction from the vacuum will increase to help clean the carpet, and the mop on the back of the S7 will actually raise up so that you aren't dragging water across it. This is what I would call a smart home product, and like most smart home stuff, it has Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa, and Siri support. At any time, I can say, hey Google, clean my room and the S7 will start cleaning. You can also tell it to clean a specific room or tell it to go back to the dock to charge. You don't have to open the app at all if you don't want to. Speaking of the dock, the S7 does come with a simple one that you can charge the robot with, but you can also pick up one of these auto-emptying docks for the S7 too. Once the robot climbs up onto the dock, a high-powered vacuum will suck all of that dirt out of it through the hole in the dock's flooring and then store it in one of these disposable bags. When the bag fills up after a couple of months, you just swap it out for a new bag and toss the old one out. It does pretty much everything for you. Honestly, it seems like they thought of everything with this robot. 
LiDAR to map out your house, a mop that actually scrubs your floor instead of just dragging water across it, smart home support, an optional dock that automatically stores dirt and then cleans your air at the same time. The only thing it needs now is like a built-in stair climber or a pop-out drone propeller so that it can travel between your floors on its own. Sounds like a Mark Rober video if I've ever heard one. Anyway, I love the S7 and I'm really glad that they sent one out to me. You can pick it up on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description down below if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Also, if you wanna see more videos like this, maybe let me know in a comment down below. I'm happy to make a video about pretty much anything as long as it's got some really cool tech inside. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.